Now, other news for you tonight here at 5. March Madness still months away, but today the NCAA announced it is staying here in Dayton for years to come. In fact, the committee has extended its partnership with the University of Dayton two more years through 2015. Megan O'Rourke is live to tell us what this good news means for us here in the Miami Valley. Megan? Well, Mark, the answer to that is simple money. Folks on the local organizing committee tell me the first four not only brings millions of dollars into our local economy, but it also thrusts Dayton into the global spotlight. And that's why they tell me the only thing that could make today's announcement any sweeter would be a more permanent commitment. They call it the big dance, and for at least the next few years, Dayton's going to be first on the floor. NCAA officials have committed to keep the basketball tournament first four games at UD Arena through 2015. Good news, but not great. And we will continue to uh, press and say that this should be uh, the long term home of the first four. University of Dayton officials, along with local committee members, say they think Dayton deserves more. UD has served as host for the first four since its inception in 2011, and organizers say it should stay that way. All we can do and all we can control is uh, doing the best we possibly can do each time we have an opportunity. Uh, uh, advocate for ourselves in a responsible and smart way, and hopefully the decision makers will take notice. And part of that's finding a way to keep the first four fresh. Last year, the committee held a festival in the Oregon District to kick off the event. I've never seen so many happy people. 15,000 people were downtown Dayton. It was just a great day, and we're going to have that again this year. I am absolutely positive. Commissioner Judy Dodge called the first four a shot in the arm, not only for folks in the community, but also for our local economy. It's estimated that 2012 first four tournament games brought $4.5 million into our region through hotels, restaurants, and retail shops. Once you get people here, they realize how great Dayton and the Dayton region is as a community, uh, and it's going to you know, encourage them to come back. So it's a, it's a huge impact from a financial standpoint and also you know, from a uh, quality of life standpoint in the region. <laughs> And with so much on the line, UD leaders and first four committee members say they will continue to work to impress the NCAA so they can hopefully turn this two-year commitment into a permanent partnership. I don't think we're satisfied at this point. Uh, uh, we continue as a team to uh, forward ourselves as a, the long-term uh, venue for the first four. Uh, we think we've proven over the years that we should uh, be the host of this. And it's great to have the community around us uh, to really make a statement. Now to date, UD Arena has hosted 91 NCAA men's basketball tournaments. That's eight more than any other venue, including Kansas City's Municipal Auditorium, the original home of the tournament. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.